Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and this might be the last video on our Land Rover Defender. My wife and I are considering trading this in after about a year and 10,000 miles, and so I figured since this is probably gonna be the last video on the Defender, that I would give my honest take on the Land Rover Defender after being an owner. And so, yeah, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's get into it. So if you aren't familiar with my Defender, or rather my wife's Defender, it's a 110, and if you couldn't tell it was a 110, it kinda has a decal there on the hood to signify it's a 110. Finished in Pangea green, and let me tell you, this is the best color on the Defender. We actually got the satin paint protection from the factory, really cool look, and then I'm not gonna pop the hood, but it's got the inline six, uh, that's the engine that we got with this, and we got the Explorer pack, so we've got the cool snorkel, you've got the roof rack, we got the ladder on the side, which doesn't come with the Explorer pack, but we added it because it looks cool, and and it's also functional, helps you get up to the roof rack. You got the storage, which does come with the Explorer pack. We also have the all-terrain tires, the big chunky fender flares, mud flaps, all that kind of stuff with it. And then my wife loves light colored interiors. So she ordered out with this interior, which the contrast with the green looks fantastic. I was definitely skeptical when we first ordered it, but you know, after seeing it in person, everything like, Again, even though we are considering parting ways with the Defender, I think that this thing still to this day looks absolutely fantastic. So now that you guys have an idea of what the Defender looks like, let's quickly go over my ownership experience. We're gonna start from ordering all the way to today. So when it comes to the ordering experience, I would rate this as like a 12 out of 10. It was absolutely fantastic. It was the best ordering experience I've ever had. So if you don't know, the Defender is extremely customizable. I'm sure you guys figured that by all the different options we have on this Defender. And because it's extremely customizable, it can be confusing with ordering it. And let me tell you, the Land Rover in Lehigh, and they're not paying me to say this, but seriously, they did an amazing job. So Jordan that works there, you guys have heard his name a million times because I always give him a shout out in the reviews. He spent about an hour, an hour and a half with me on the phone going through all the options with the Defender. Again, because it's super customizable. And even though I review cars, there was still a lot of stuff that I was confused about to be frank. And I know that's kind of embarrassing for me to admit, but he was able to explain everything. And so we were able to order exactly what we wanted. And so when it comes to the ordering experience, being able to order exactly what you want and having someone that was knowledgeable to know like everything about the Defender, again, 12 out of 10. So then this leads me into the delivery experience, which was fantastic. Again, it was exactly as I expected based on what the dealership told me. They told me the time frame in terms of when the Defender would come in, and it came in within that time frame. And yeah, again, it was exactly what we wanted. And so yeah, again, from a delivery perspective and an ordering perspective, it was great. And you guys are probably noticing a trend. The dealership did do an amazing job with the whole ordering situation, delivery situation, all of that. And so now this leads leads us into the driving side of things because this is a car and <laughs> cars are meant to be driven. My wife absolutely loved driving the Defender for the last 10,000 miles. Obviously we had that little issue at 150 miles. It got fixed very quickly. And from 150 miles until the 10,500 miles, we've actually had no issues with the Defender whatsoever. It has been flawless between that mileage range. Again, my wife has absolutely loved it. She loves the uh, Alpine lights. If you guys don't know, with the uh, Defenders here, pop over here. You've got these little windows there at the top and it just makes the interior feel a lot more open. And uh, our daughter is just over a year old now and she loves them because with her car seat being faced backwards, having the little windows where she can kind of see the sky and everything, again, great experience. And so again, between those mileage ranges, the Defender has been absolutely fantastic. My wife absolutely loved it. And so again, from an experience perspective, in terms of what we expected with the Defender and everything, I would say 12 out of 10. It was a great ownership experience between that mileage range. So then this leads us into the service side of things. And again, I would actually rate this as very high. Now, obviously it was disappointing that the Defender had issues so early on with the mileage. Again, having the power steering go out at 150 miles was very disappointing. But the Land Rover dealership has like the best customer service that I've ever experienced. It 
completely exceeded my expectation. And the reason why I say that is my normal experience with something happening with a car is that I've got to figure out how to get it down to the dealership. And then, you know, in terms of when the car is going to be done and all that, I, I just don't know what's happening. Whereas again, with the Land Rover dealership, not only do they help me get it down to the dealership, they also, again, set the expectation of, hey, this is what's wrong with the car. This is how long it's going to take to get fixed. And they also offered a loaner car. Now we didn't take the loaner car because we didn't need one. I've got like two other cars for us to drive, so it's fine. But that was another thing that I have never experienced before is most of the time when I drop a car off for service, there's no expectation that I'm gonna get a car uh, to drive while my car is in service. And so yeah, from a service perspective, it was really good. Again, they did a really good job with taking care of everything. It was just the fact that, you know, we had to take it into service that was the disappointing part. And so now this leads us into talking about why we are selling the Defender. If overall our experience has been very positive for literally 99% of the ownership and it just comes down to my wife's decision this is her car and so she decides what happens with this car and so with the service situation where we took it in at about 10,000 miles and it turned out that it needed a new set of coolant lines which was covered under warranty and that's another thing I do want to mention is Land Rover has been fantastic about their warranty coverage. And the reason I want to like emphasize this is I've had experiences with other manufacturers where even though a car is still under factory warranty, they haven't covered things. And I have had zero issues with Land Rover uh, in terms of coverage. And so again, I would give them a 12 out of 10 when it comes to the warranty side of things. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it ultimately comes down to my wife's decision. She felt uncomfortable with the fact that the coolant lines need to be replaced at about 10,000 miles. And the fact that the steering, the power steering, uh, you know, went out again, she just got to the point where she's like, okay, you know, I've never been stranded in this vehicle. She hasn't had anything like that happen. And again, I do want to mention that like people think that Land Rover just leave people stranded. We never had that happen once with the Defender. Um, but yeah, she just didn't really feel like she wanted to deal with that anymore. And so it just comes down to her choice in terms of us not keeping the vehicle. If it came down to my choice personally, I would be more than happy with me continuing to drive it if she didn't want it anymore. Um, but again, it's her vehicle, so it's her choice. And so all in all, despite, you know, some of the recent videos that I have posted, my overall experience and my wife's experience with the Defender has been definitely skewed towards the positive side, like very towards the positive side. Again, it's basically like a really good ownership experience with a few rainy days. That's the best, you know, I guess, comparison that I could put into this video. And so, yeah, I mean, again, the Defender, it's a vehicle with a lot of technology, just like a lot of other modern cars. And with a lot of technology comes the chance that, you know, stuff isn't necessarily going to work. Again, it comes with the territory. And something that I really do want to mention is, despite the crap that Land Rover gets, in my personal experience as someone who has reviewed a bunch of different cars and owned a bunch of different types of cars, this is no more reliable than 99% of the stuff on the market. The only cars that are really, you know, not going to have issues like this is the stuff that's super old on the market. It's so like, you know, the Nissan Frontier, for example, or the Toyota 4Runner, right? Cars that have basically been the same since like the year 2000, pretty much. I mean, not that not that long ago, but you guys get the point, right? Outside of the cars that are basically ancient cars that they're selling as brand new, everything else on the market has tons of issues. And again, I know this personally from experience, but I also know this from talking with dealers. Like, you know, you'd think that certain brands are going to have a certain level of reliability, but that's just not the case anymore. I mean, here's an example. I was talking to one of my friends with uh, that works with Toyota, and he told me that Tundras, despite what you'll see online, are still having a bunch of issues with the turbocharged engine, and there are people that their engines are literally blowing up. And so, again, Toyota, you think reliability, but it's just modern cars with all this tech and it's just it's just one of those things that we got to deal with nowadays and so that is pretty much going to sum things up for today's video i forgot one more point um, on the defender ownership experience and the only reason why i'm mentioning this point is it's coming up now since we are considering selling the defender and that is going to be the resale so Land Rovers aren't necessarily known to have the highest resale value. However, the Defender, from the point that it came out into the market, was actually doing pretty well. Now, the used car market in general has had a really big correction over the course of the last, you know, couple of years. But the Defender has still 
lost more value than I expected it to lose. So the Defender that we ordered as spec'd out with all the options that it has, um, stickered for about $85,000 and then the Explorer pack was another $5,000 on top of that. So it's a $90,000 build. I want you guys to comment down below what you think this is worth in today's market now. I'll give you guys a second. And so <laughs> it, it's pretty rough. When it comes to retail, the technical retail value of this is $75,000, but that's not what these are actually selling for. They're selling closer to like $71,000, $72,000 for a spec similar to this. And so that puts your trade-in value between, you know, on the low side, sixty-four dollars to maybe sixty-six, sixty-seven thousand dollars $67,000. And so if you look at the basically new price versus the trade-in value, that's a loss of almost like 33%, a third of the value in the first year and 10,000 miles. And so that's, again, that's just something else, but a big part of that is just, there's just been a huge correction in the used car market. And so everything has lost a ton of value in the last year. So let me know you guys think about the Defender after this whole series. And yeah, I don't know if um, this is going to be the end for the Defender. Again, it ultimately comes up to uh, my wife's uh, decision. We are, again, we're still kind of looking at different options and everything. And yeah, if she decides to trade it in, then she decides to trade it in me personally as crazy as it sounds to you guys i don't know i i like it i don't know there's it all it, the off-roading experience with this was really cool for me i've never experienced a vehicle that has a four-wheel drive system that does the stuff that the defender does it's it's just crazy if you guys haven't seen my off-road video with this go watch it but yeah if it does go me personally i will be sad uh to see it go but ultimately if you guys are married, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure that the wife's happy. Happy, happy wife, happy life. I'll see you guys.